Todd Goat Spurley! Oh, I don't know. Which one do I? Hello? Hi! What up? What up? Hi. What up? Hey, did you see? You guys see Little Wayne and Two Chains? Get out of record. Did I see that? Yeah. Are they going to do in a movie next? Working title, Chains, Wayne's, and Automobiles. <laughs> oh, yes I did. Chains, Wayne's, and Automobiles. <laughs> Little auto tune. Chains, Wayne's. Do y'all so see? Y'all see the snow's coming? We have a spring storm? I don't know if anybody saw the last time when that huge storm came. I was watching the news and they were just warning about the black ice. They said, watch out for black ice. You don't see it. But it's very careful. And I started thinking, well, that's really important. Maybe I should try to raise awareness about this black ice thing. So I'm going to start a campaign. I got t-shirts made up. <laughs> black ice matters. <laughs> thinking of talking to Jesse Jackson, maybe get Reverend Al Sharpton involved. I think even the police might be getting behind this one, yo. <laughs> Black ice matters. Think about that when you're driving in the snow. All right. Another outfit change. <laughs> what else going on out there? You know what I recently read? I don't know if you guys read this. The sneeze is the second most powerful orgasm in the human body. You guys know that? It's true. I told that to my girlfriend. She's like, you're an idiot. Next day, though, I caught her in the bathroom with a pepper mill and a vibrator. <laughs> yes, I did. I was recently sick. And I know, I, I don't know if any of you guys do that, or ladies, but when you're sick, why for some reason do we think it's a good idea to masturbate? <laughs> you ever do that? I don't know. But an hour later, one shriveled red penis. I, it's not a good idea every time. Shrivel red penis, sir! Shrivel red penis. Recently, I was over at a friend's house and they were booking plane, booking a plane ride off to somewhere. And she's like, hey, did you know that there's no row 13 on a plane? And I was like, yeah, I did know that. There's also like no 13 on office buildings. You know that? She's like, I didn't know that. And I'm like, it's so stupid. Because, you know, row 14, you're not fooling us. We know what you're up to. And you people on build the floor 14, you're fucked. God knows that you're just 13 in disguise. God knows. This is true. Thank you. You're acknowledging the truth in that matter, sir. Hey, you know what else? I'm thinking of starting a new business. If anybody wants to get involved, see me after the show. It's an all woman sporting goods store. All women's. I got a whole ad campaign worked out. You guys ready? It's called Pussies. Pussy Sporting Goods. That's the ad campaign. Ladies, who needs dicks? You got pussies. Mm. Right. Come on, because who actually drove past Dick's Sporting Goods and laughed and chuckled? Dick's. So silly. And how do we come to need Dick? Where do we get Dick from? It comes from Richard, right? Who the fuck came up with that? Rich, Richie, Dick. You know, that's like an old thing. You know, you only see old Dick's. You don't see young Dick's. You probably see something. <laughs> but the, it's, not, it's the only other name. I'm always fascinated by that. You know, it's like, you can you imagine like parents like having a little girl? Oh, we'll name her Elizabeth. Everyone will call her like Liza or Liz or maybe if we're lucky, cunt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was for you. <laughs> <sighs> what else going on out there? Do you guys see this? This astronaut who came back from spending a year in space, that Kelly guy, he was a year in space. A year in space. And I don't know if everybody thought this, like I initially did, like, wow, that guy hasn't come in a year. He's stuck in a space suit. Or maybe he has. 
And you know how they like videotape everything? So can you imagine that cum shot? Like all the semen floating around and chasing after it with the tissue. <laughs> It's coming to space travel, folks. Don't you walk out on me, drunk lady! <laughs> Fuck her! Oh, God! Um, as far as that, like, so thing about... Oh, yeah, I don't care. Oh, no, no. So, anyway... When you're ready to do, like, take your t-shirt off... Oh, and do, uh, oh my do, gosh. Like, so, uh, why did I engage this woman? Anybody? Someone, why did I engage her? <laughs> why? <laughs> It was a bad move, right? Deeper. Probably yeah, ruined my whole like, set, yeah? Deeper, All right, like, let's disregard the drunk lady. I'm so sorry, everybody. Wow. But with the space flight, it's, it's going to happen. The space porn. We know it's coming, right? You know it's going to happen. 2069 is space orgy. Big Bang, my stepmom theory. <laughs> <laughs> Supermassive black holes and cocks. <laughs> Star Wars. The Empire fucks back. Eh? Yoda. Coming. I am. Coming. I am. Coming. <laughs> Worst Yoda impression ever. Thank you. All right, I get the feeling like I bonded with everybody except the drunk lady who didn't like me. I'm not getting her vote. <laughs> but I feel like we become like family. I'm much like my family. I get the feeling you guys can't wait for me to shut the fuck up and go home. <laughs> Have a good night. Enjoy your St. Patrick's Day. <laughs>